Hi, my name is Iga and you're watching Pixie in the Notes. Uh, so I've been looking for my holy grail patchouli scent for a long time and I think I have found, finally found it. Let's talk about Tempo by Diptyque. So for those of you who are not familiar with the patchouli note or simply those who don't know how it's represented in fragrances, a patchouli belongs to the mint family. So it is not surprising that sometimes in fragrances it adds this minty, mentholated, almost a cooling effect, almost camphor-like, like in Vicks Vapor Up. Uh, and I must say this is my least favorite facet of patchouli and um, I don't enjoy fragrances that smell like this. But the most prominent um, feature of patchouli is its woody, uh, earthy and musky character. Sometimes, especially with pair, when paired with other ingredients, it can add a little bit of that chocolatey nuance. Those who don't like patchouli uh, find its uh, earthiness overpowering and sometimes people say that patchouli smells like musty old basement, a wet dog or unwashed hippie. My issue with patchouli fragrances was either the patchouli was too in my face or it wasn't playing the first role. So the fragrances that I have personally found overpowering and too much were um, Eldo's uh, um, Un Amoret Roland or Straight to Heaven where patchouli is very uh, camphor-like Mm, or looks patchouli or patchouli intense uh, from Nikolai. I love patchouli but it usually plays a supporting role and acts not like as a main player but m more like a background for other ingredients. So sometimes it can be blended for example with rose uh, like in Voleur de Roses, Voleur de Roses um, from Lati Saint Parfumer or uh, Peuse de la Lique or Noir de Noir. Uh, it can be blended with beautiful resins uh, and white chocolate like in this delicious uh, Coromandel. Or it can be paired with uh, fruity and floral notes like in L uh, by YSL or with pralines and delicious stuff and everything but the kitchen, kitchen sink uh, in Angel. But still, patchouli was, is not the main player here. So I was looking for something that would be a well-balanced, toned down, patchouli-centric fragrance. And then I have found Tempo. So in the next part of the video, I'm gonna tell you why Tempo hit the right spot for me as a patchouli scent. So from the very first spray, uh, Tempo is undoubtedly um, a patchouli scented fragrance, but um, this, what I value the most about the patchouli in uh, Tempo is that it's extremely well balanced. So all the facets are in perfect harmony. So the woodsiness, mintiness, and uh, all those uh, parts are in perfect harmony and that hits the right spot and ticks all the boxes for me. So if anything it's the woody and earthy character that are the most prominent but they are not uh, armed up. I would refer to Tempo as a comforting woody patchouli with an earthy soul and a warm heart and uh, that seriously hits the right spot for me. Um, it is a very stylish, well calibrated patchouli and uh, the thing that I appreciate the most is that it's how other ingredients uh, are incorporated in the blend. And that what makes this perfectly simple yet extremely nuanced beauty of Tempo. Another thing that I really love about Tempo is that it has this very airy 
and spacious feel. So it gives you uh, room for breathing. Another thing that is super cool about, uh, about Tempo is that by nature it's dark, but it carries a lot of brightness. So this duality, this dual character is uh, what I really, really appreciate. So the magic factor of Tempo for me lies in this um, very clever and masterful way the other ingredients are incorporated into the blend. So let's look at the notes. So we have clary sage and mate tea here and they add this other type of airy and translucent greenness to the composition. Uh, then we have some bergamot, which, yeah, I think it's responsible for this brightness that I mentioned before. Uh, we also have pink pepper that adds a little bit of that also airy vibrancy. Uh, but I left two ingredients that I want to discuss at the end because I think they were the deal breakers for me. Looking at the note breakdown, you will think there's only one left. What's going on? But I'll tell you in a second. So uh, then we have the violet leaf. And I think this violet, the violet leaf um, steers the, the, the composition into a slightly leathery uh, territory. And then what I absolutely love about Tempo is the underlying uh, dry vanillic sweetness and we don't have anything that would indicate that when we look at the notes so I went to the Ptique's website and I checked the ingredients and they list coumarin uh, and coumarin is very often associated with tonka bean which is very often used as a substitute for vanilla so I think this might be the culprit but this leatheriness and this dry vanillic um, character, uh, this is what is my favorite part of Tempo because they are not served in a straightforward and direct way. So they're almost at the skin surface and they drive me insane in the best possible way because they keep playing hide and seek with my senses and that what makes tempo so extremely appealing and intriguing for me. And one more thing that I would like to say is that this vanillic, uh, dry vanillic part kind of slightly reminds me of the vanilla used in Orduel. So yeah, that's maybe that's will give you a little bit of the direction what, what I mean. So this was the more analytical and discerning part of the review, but what's the most important is the feel of the fragrance, the mood that it evokes. So Tempo has this quite distinct airy and outdoorsy uh, character, uh, and it almost feels like uh, you are in the open space filled with the earthy, smell of uh, autumn leaves and it feels like a br cool breeze playing with your hair while uh, diffused warm sunlight is warming up your face. Tempo feels mysterious and misty but it also car carries a certain type of co refined coziness. Uh, so this kind of mystery uh, is not grim or sombre, it, it's rather uh, moody. So it has this certain Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe's a romantic edge. So you feel that slightly dangerous thrill, but deep in your heart you know you're safe. It also feels almost like sitting in this huge uh, leather couch filled with pillows and blankets and looking through the window uh, where you admire the spectacle of those yellow and brown leaves shrouded in autumn mist and rain. 
So patchouli used in tempo adds this refined yet cozy depth to the blend and it goes incredibly well with good quality thick fabrics and accessories. So it's classy and edgy without trying too hard. And finally, um, there is a certain sensual vibe about uh, tempo. And for me, in general, patchouli adds this sensuality to any fragrance. Uh, and here it's also very present. But this sensuality is not like an outburst of eroticism. It's rather like a whisper or a gentle caress, but it's definitely there. So the colors that I imagine are the rusty browns and muted greens. Uh, so all the colors here look at almost as if they had that dark filter put over them. Uh, so they are rich and deep, but they are devoid of this saturated vibrancy. So what season or what weather tempo is most suitable for? So yeah, all the images that you just saw, it just implants um, autumn in your mind. And that's really the case. Uh, I think the tempo makes a beautiful autumnal fragrance, perfect for a misty rainy day. But once I sprayed it on a rather cool um, summer day and then the day turned into pretty warm sunny day and I was pretty terrified that the tempo was going to go going to choke me out but this leather and vanillic part when hit by the sun like 20 22 degrees made the tempo bloom and that was the moment when I freaking lost my mind for tempo because it flourished. A totally different dimension was added to uh, tempo. And I feel that, yeah, like sunny, yet 20, 22 degrees summer days are also an amazing weather to wear tempo. Performance-wise, I, I feel that Tempo has a really good performance. Uh, unfortunately, I don't own a bottle. I only used um, it from samples. So two sprays from a sample are perfectly fine for me. I can smell it all day. I got complimented. I, well, I was complimented twice when I wore it at work. So people can smell you. But after like three or four hours in beca it becomes a little bit closer to the skin which is okay I really like it but you get those beautiful dry gorgeous whiffs from you throughout the day so I would say the performance of Tempo is really good. So these days Tempo is uh, my number one position on my wish list. Um, my second sample is going dangerously low so it will definitely join my collection at some point. Let me know if you like patchouli scents, what your patchou what, what's your favorite type of patchouli, and thanks for watching. See you next time.